In the next few demos, I will show you how to use GPOs, which is Group Policy Objects within Active Directory. GPO is uh, provisioned using GPM, which is a Group Policy Management Tool. And it is one of the powerful tools within the Active Directory environment. It lets you configure a lot of policies and also security controls to the client systems. You can uh, create user, delete users, uh, you can increase the complexity level, you can change the wallpapers, and uh, you can do a lot of pretty amazing things with GPO. So in this first example, I will show you how to set up a screen saver, I'm sorry, a, a desktop background on this, all the systems by changing it in one place. So let's connect to the domain controller and um, so basically you have to go to the server manager and you can go to tools and you can go to group policy, policy management which is uh, GP, G, GPM or GPO right and then um, let me delete um, some of the old ones So once you go there, um, it'll it'll show something like this. So you have to drill down and you can go to the domains and you can go to the Xclaris domain. So when you right click on it, it will say create a GPO, which is a group policy object and it will say link it here, right? So let's click on that. And since we're going to change this GPO will change the desktop wallpaper of all the systems that are connected to Active Directory. And you can do more than one thing, uh, but let's keep it simple and let's say wallpaper. So when you, then you can go to wallpaper and edit the policies. So you can do something like computer configuration or user configuration. So this is a user specific uh, configuration because uh, you're changing a wallpaper and um, the same user can log on to different missions within the company, right? So you wants to see the same wallpaper wherever he goes. So let's go to policies. And if you go to administrative templates, you can, you can go to, uh, I think it's control panel. I uh, don't see it there. So let's see desktop. Okay, I see it in desktop. So you go to desktop and um, you got to drill down or find these different items, right? And uh, I think, yeah, this is it. So enable active desktop or desktop wallpaper. This is what I'm looking for. Um, so let's click on it. And uh, currently it's not configured. So let's enable it. And if you look down here, it needs a path to find the actual JPG or um, PNG. And um, so let's do one thing. We created a file server, so let's use it now. So that is the reason for this file server is to serve files. So let's log on to server one and we will create a shared folder. So let's, uh, we can create it anywhere, uh, but um, let's create something called share. So we're creating a share so anyone can grab files from the system. So we have to put some JPG in there, but let's uh, edit the share permission. So we want advanced sharing. We want to share this folder. And for the permissions, we want everyone full control or um, I think read control is good enough. So let's check to make sure that it's working. Let's go to one of the client workstations. Let's pick Windows or um, Windows 7. So let's go to uh, the server is server 1 and then we named it share. 
Okay, so we, we are able to read it, right? So we need to serve um, a wallpaper. So let's go back to the server one. And I don't know if we can find any files in here or actually I was trying to find uh, an image from the internet and uh, I just found uh, some random picture and I put it in the shared folder. So it looks like this. Okay. So let's see if we can set this as a wallpaper on all the systems. And uh, let's go back to the domain controller. And the path is server one. That's where it is served right now. And uh, share. And the, f uh, the name of the file is. And click apply. And uh, that's pretty much it. So once you apply that, uh, this policy should apply to all systems in the network. So basically it will it will go to all the systems. If you go to tools, active directory, users and computers, it will enforce this on all these systems. So in a big corporate environment, you're going to have like thousands and thousands of systems in here. Uh, you can also specify a list of computers that you want to apply this to and it gets complicated there. So now that we did it, let's see if it worked. By default, it will take like 90 minutes for it to take effect or it will work when the machine restarts. So another way is to uh, force the update and uh, there's a command to do that. It's a gp update slash force. You may have to log off and log back in, but let's see how long it takes. So this is going to the server, which is the domain controller, and it is pulling all the different policies. Uh, but this will happen automatically. So whenever the user logs off and logs back in, this will uh, this will take effect. Okay. Okay, so you have a brand new wallpaper. Uh, let's also check it on the Windows 10 system. Since we are going to be logging in, uh, we don't have to do the GP update on this box. I take that back. Uh, sometimes um, GPOs are not um, predictable so it could take like up to 90 minutes to enforce so let's try that one once again if gp update slash force okay it says it's um, completed successfully so like we did uh, let's log off sign out and sign back in. Okay, so there you have it. And uh, in the next um, demo, I will show you something different uh, regarding GPO.